I'm going to talk to you about sighing. You all know what sighing is. There are these deep breaths that you take. Um, the story basically starts with the uh, widespread use of iron lungs. When they were first used, individuals were ventilated at normal lung volumes, and there was high mortality rates. Then they decided to, they decided to ventilate at slightly higher volumes, and there's lower mortality. Then, in the 50s, they discovered what really was necessary was just to have an occasional large breath. Now, why is that? Well, remember I said there were 500 million alveoli, each less than a hundredth of an inch in diameter? They're like balloons that are fluid-lined. They have a probability of collapsing. And if you ever try to inflate a, a, a wet balloon, it's very hard. You've got to pop it open. So a normal breath doesn't pop it open. A sigh does. So if you sigh every five minutes, and all of you are sighing every couple of minutes, it pops open the alveoli that have collapsed during that five minutes. But if you're prevented from sighing for an extended period of time, lots of these alveoli would collapse, and your ability to exchange oxygen would decline. And if you're stuck in an iron lung, you could uh, die. 